Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here from Gear Live, and we just wanted to give you a quick look at um, the uh, just released iOS 4.2, which um, I'll confirm right here for you. We have iOS 4.2 running on the iPad, it's the beta. And let's see, version. I don't know if you can see that, version 4.2 8C5091E. So, uh, Apple just released this today uh, to people that have developer accounts um, so that they can start getting their apps ready for the 4.2 version of the iPad. We just wanted to show you some quick differences um, in this version. Obviously, first you can see we have some folders on here. So there's how folders work on the iPad, pretty much what you would expect. Um, except one nice surprise um, is that if I go over to my games folder, check that out. We have 20 apps in here, 20 apps in this folder, whereas on the iPhone, um, there's a maximum of 12. So you can actually fit eight more apps per folder um, here in iOS 4.2. We have not tested 4.2 on the iPhone yet or the iPod Touch, um, but the beta does work on all three devices. But at least here on the iPad, um, we were able to fit eight more apps per folder, and that's really nice because... Um, it's not too fun to have to create uh, multiple folders for one category of uh, item. So uh, that's folders right there. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Nice, it's been uh, long awaited. Next, Game Center. Game Center is now a part of the iPad. There you see uh, my account, um, and it slowly fills in uh, on both sides some games. And um, if you were to tap on one, let's just, uh, there we go. Takes you right out to the App Store. So you can purchase a game, um, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. So this is a game called What's the Difference, and you would you know obviously just choose differences in those photos. Never played it before, but the point is uh, that Game Center is on there, and actually so is multitasking. So if you double tap, get the multitasking bar at the bottom. We could just jump right back into Game Center, where we came from. Um, if you go into the Friends view, you see the the two-sided pane thing going on um, using the uh, the screen on the iPad to use the real estate up but as you can see there's still some wasted space uh, in the UI we mentioned multitasking if you double tap you get the multitasking at the bottom there you can just go into any any app you're in that supports it you can go into iPod, iPod. you can play music Let's play some sort of track. So there we have Janet Jackson going. Let me turn that down real quick. So there's Janet Jackson. Um, and then we can switch back out, for example, to Game Center. Music is still playing. And then you can obviously control right there. iPod. This is your screen orientation lock. And they've actually added this. This is not on the iPhone or iPod Touch. You have a screen brightness control right there, which is really nice to be able to just jump in and like change the brightness of the device without going into settings and all that. Um, but yeah, let's let's touch on this as well though. The screen orientation lock right there. So to get to that, you just double tap on the home button, move over to the left one, and there's your orientation lock. Now, why would you need that? Um, basically because the old switch, which is located right there, that switch has been an orientation lock since the iPad launched, but as soon as you install 4.2, that is no longer an orientation lock switch. Instead, as you can see, that's a mute switch. So, you no longer have a dedicated orientation lock, so you need to use uh, the software version. Um, the old trick, uh, let me turn the, mute, the volume all the way up, the old trick of holding down the down volume button to mute, that still works. So again, if we just hold down the down volume button, it mutes right there. But you also, just, now you just have a dedicated mute button. Um, and that's really, I mean, those are the things that people have been waiting for. We can't really show a couple of the other things like uh, AirPrint, which is basically printing from the iPad. Uh, we can't really show that because um, it's not fully enabled yet. Um, and then also AirTunes, which allows you to send content uh, from, from your iPad to a supported device like an Apple TV or um, 
any any really AirTunes uh, enabled device. I don't believe. Let me see. Oh, there's AirPlay. I'm sorry, AirPlay, not AirTunes. They've changed the name. So I could send it to the Airport Express in my office, um, but I also have a couple of Apple TVs in the house, and it's not recognizing those yet. But um, if I had speakers hooked up to the Airport Express, I can obviously send it over there. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of working right now, but um, you know, as far as the Apple TV goes, you're going to need the new model. The older models aren't going to get any updates to support this, so that's why mine aren't showing up there. Um, printing again, not showing up either, but that's because I don't have it set up correctly. Um, I'm not running the beta version of OS 10 Snow Leopard 10.10.5. 10 uh, 10 so that's all I can show you for now. Um, again, beta version. This is going to be out and available to everyone in November. Um, so that's still a couple months away. So they, you know, they can add in, you know, whatever for else uh, they want to add in. They have some time, but it does feel solid. The only trouble I came across, and again, this is a beta is um, when I first turned it on I spent a bunch of time creating folders and um, I was probably on my fourth or fifth folder and uh, the screen froze for just a moment and then unfroze and all the apps were where they were before I started making folders so all the folder folders pretty much just disappeared um, but I'm sure that's going to be fixed before they release this to the public so that's pretty much it. iOS 4.2 on the iPad brings multitasking, brings folders and a bunch of other things, Game Center printing, um, AirPlay. So um, that's it for now. As they add features, as we find new features, uh, we'll let you know. The other thing about this is it brings all the other iOS 4.0 um, additions, such as the unified inbox and mail and things like that, um, to the iPad as well. So that's it. Tune in next time for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com. I'm Andrew Edwards.